All right, I'm going I'm to tell you about procedures, and in fact, about how to make procedures as general purpose as possible, as reusable as possible. And I've got this note-taking app. A person can enter notes and see them listed. Okay, and you know when the date, you know when the app starts, it goes and gets the whole list from the database and displays the list. And when you submit a new item, it adds that item to the list and, and displays it. Okay, so here's my procedure display list. Okay, and it's pretty general purpose. I can send any list to it. In this app, I'm always sending the note list to it, but I, you know, I could send other lists to it, like a user list or whatever thing I want to display. So it's generic in that sense. It's, it's general purpose in that sense, but it's not general purpose in the sense that it's always going to display the list, whatever list I send it, in this one label here. The label, you know, just to show you, the label is called list label, and it's it's right under these previous notes, okay? So, you know, my procedure is general purpose, but not that general purpose. There's one specific part of it, and it's where I'm displaying the list. I'd like to make that more generic, okay? Well, what I'm going to do is instead of having this procedure actually display a list somewhere, what I'm going to have it do is, is convert the list into text, and then that text could be put into any label by the caller. Okay, so in fact, what I'm going to do is rename this procedure. Actually, I'm not going to rename. I'm just going to create a new procedure. So I'm going to move this guy over, and I'm going to create a new procedure. And this one's going to have a result because I'm actually going to return some text to the caller. Okay, and this one's going to be called list to text. So the job of this procedure, if I send a list to it, is to return a bunch of text. Okay, and indeed it's going to have a parameter which is the list that I want. Okay, so just like display list, it'll have a parameter called list. Okay, and it's still going to do some work up here, but you know, I'm going to grab this loop and I'll bring it down here. So I know we're going to do something like that, but notice it's a little tricky because I've got this result block. Okay, and I'm going to want a variable called text which is just going to keep keep the text I'm building you know, while the procedure is going on. So I'm going to create a new local variable called text. Okay, so here it is. All right, and I'm going to name this guy text. So this is the text I'm going to build, and it's just going to be initialized to the empty string. Okay, but then what I'm going to do is I'm going to build this text up, so I'm not going to do anything to the, my list label.txt. I need to get rid of these references, right? That was the specific part I'm trying to get, get rid of, okay? And instead, what I want to do is build up this variable called text. So I know I'm going to set text to something, and I'm also going to need to get a get text, okay? So I'm kind of getting to where I want to be. So each time as I go through my list, I'm going to set my text to the new item, a new line character, and itself. Okay, so I'm going to build the, the text up, you know, one by one. Okay, local variable, and I want to return something. One thing I need to do is grab this do block. So, so I can do some things before I return. It's called a do result block. All right, so I'm going to have this procedure called list of text. There's a local variable named text that I'm going to use while I'm in the procedure and I'm going to do some stuff. What I'm going to do is go through my list and keep adding the items to this this text variable. Okay. When I'm done, I just want to return the variable called text. Okay. So the whole job of this procedure is take in some list variable, okay, and convert that list variable to a text variable which has inline characters in between each each item. Okay, cool. So I've got this procedure. I'm no longer going to use this guy. Just just to you know, we'll we'll leave it up. But um, I'm not going to call display list anymore. So let's let's take out this display list and and this one down here. Okay, so those guys are going to be gone. And what we want to do now is we kind of want to do the same thing we we're doing. So we want to change the list label.txt. And what we want to do is call list to text. 
Okay, and in fact, it needs a list. Actually, I'm going to just hide this guy. Sorry, if you click on Control, you can collapse the block. So let's just get that guy out of the way. And what I'm going to do is, when, when the screen initializes, I'm going to go get my list from the database. And what I want to do is convert that list into text and then stick the text into my label. Okay, cool. Same thing. Down here with my submit button, I want to do the same thing. I'm just going to copy this block. Okay, we can bring these guys back. Okay, let's move this guy up here. And I think we're good to go. So up here, we're adding the item to the list. We convert the list to text and stick it in the label and then go, go about our, our way. All right, so I think this code will work the same as, as, as it was working. Let's just test it just to make sure. So my, my phone uh, went out for a second. Let's see. So I'm going to add a new item. Um, John, click Submit, and looks like it worked fine. Okay, cool. So it, just, just to summarize, we now have a completely generic function, right? List to text. You'll notice it doesn't refer to any specific lists, no global list, note list, and no label. All it does is take some list, whatever you send it, and send back some text, okay? Now the caller is responsible for saying, okay, once I get that back, where do I put it? You know, and before what we were doing in the old display list was we were actually putting the, um, the list they sent us. We were converting it to text, but we were sticking that text right into the label. So now, instead of doing that, we are um, letting the caller take the return value and, and stick it in the label.